YTBC. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. Tis a season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la, la 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 la. Tis a season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la, la 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 la. But some of you, you're going to take that jolly to the next level. Some of you are going to take the jolly to the next level. And I'm not talking about jolly in a happy way. I'm talking about jolly in an obese way. That's what I'm talking about. You know, many of you, you're going to go home. You're going to spend time with your family. You're going to sit around the table. You know, you're going to, you know, throw some ham hocks on the, on the stove. You're going to, you know, bake a turkey, put some dressing on there and all that hot garbage. That's what you guys are going to do, okay? You're going to spend time with your loved ones. Uh, uh, Sean Newton, I need you to take the turkey leg out of your mouth and listen to this, Sean. Sean, I need you to get rid of that pork chop that you're about to go over there and steam, and I need you to listen to this, Sean Newton. I'm, I'm just playing around, okay? Honestly, I do. I, there are a lot of people that I argue with in the YTBC. I do. But I would never wish ill will upon any of y'all because, guys, what are we arguing about? Our opinions, okay? Really and truthfully, I bet a lot of you guys that I disagree with, y'all cool dudes. Some of y'all really are. Like, I've gotten to talk to y'all you know, on Facebook and Twitter, just outside of boxing. And it's kind of weird that you guys that I disagree with, y'all have a lot of different things that I, did, I didn't even know about y'all. Like, it's crazy. But, you know, we talk. You know, we talk about different things. And I really want to talk about the health thing, okay? A lot of y'all are going, going, going home or you're going to be with your family and you guys are going to eat a lot of food. And it's a good time for friends, family, and food, okay? I personally don't partake in the celebration of Thanksgiving. I, I don't do it. But, you know, I do spend time with the family. You know, I don't eat the food, but I spend time with the family. See, people, years ago, I had a health problem, and it was a scare, and I thought I was going to die. And so I prayed, and, and, and I said, God, you know, if you can get me out of this situation, I will go back to training these kids at a high level like I used to, and God, I'll start preaching this message about health. I said that. God honored that prayer. And it didn't happen overnight. I just said, God, don't even, don't take it off of me. Look educate me on how to do it let me educate myself you give me the knowledge and let me get myself out of this because god i know you can do everything but you don't have to do it for me okay you tell me what i need to do and i will do it you see sometimes you know you got to get up and do stuff for yourself and that's what i did i got myself out of the mess that i was in but you know i felt bad because i knew all this information but i wasn't really sharing it and so now i'm going to share just tidbits i've dropped videos about this before and, I, you know, sometimes I want to go into depth, but it's not really a popular conversation. You know, only people who are listening to me are people who are very sick. People who are already healthy, they don't listen to this. So it's not like I drop it a lot. But, you know, I'm going to tell you all a story. There's this guy that I counsel. And he came in, you know, on Saturdays I do counseling with, like, adults. And, you know, it's people who have disease. You know, whatever disease resonates in their body, you know, what we do is we talk about how to reverse it. And some of y'all dudes ain't conscious, you know. Like, y'all think that if you get a disease, you can't you can't cure it. I cure it myself. I cure it myself. And, you know, maybe one day I'll just tell the whole story. But I was telling this guy, you know, he had diabetes. He had, you know, high blood pressure. You know, he had everything. He had the works. And I said, you know, listen, man. He came in, beautiful family. He came in and he said, yeah, man, so what I need to do to help reverse my diabetes and get my blood pressure down? I said, listen. You got to go back to nature. I said, for the next 60 days, I want 90% of what you eat put in your mouth to come from the ground. I don't want you to do anything that come out of a package. That For the next 60 days, 90% of what you do, what you eat, needs to come out of the ground. And it needs to be raw. Don't cook it. He looked at me in my eyes and he said, I can't do that. And so I looked him back in his eye and I said, listen, man. Listen. And I grabbed him by his shirt collar. I said, listen. Let me tell you something. I said, do you see that beautiful wife that you got sitting over there? I said, do you see that beautiful wife that you got sitting over there and those two wonderful kids you got sitting in that chair over there? He looked at me and he said, man, yeah. I said, listen to me, man. I said, somebody else, somebody else is going to be calling your wife. She's going to be calling him baby. Okay, and somebody else going to have your kids calling him daddy if you don't listen to what I'm telling you. I told this guy that. He looked at me right in my face as he got up and left left my gym. He said, Coach, I can't do that. He said, Coach, I can't do that. That's just too much to ask for, man. And I said, man, you can reverse your diabetes. You can do everything right now Why you don't really have a lot of problems. I said, man, you're just a little obese. I said, you can reverse that. You can go back to normal. I said, man, you don't have to do what I had to do. You didn't have to lay up in the hospital. You didn't have to be in pain for months at a time. I said, man, you 
can fix you. I said, dude, we can do this in two months. He looked at me again. He said, coach, I can't do this. I just, I can't do it. Three weeks later, that man left out of my gym. Three weeks later, this man was dead. And I tell y'all this to try to bring something. I want to hit home to y'all. I want to hit home to y'all. Your body is not designed to stuff itself. Your body is not designed to stuff itself full of food. It's not. It's designed to take on small portions of food at a time. You see, I'm going to break this down to y'all on a biochemical level. When you eat food, your liver and your stomach, they break the food down. Your stomach provides a hydrochloric acid that kills bacteria and actually helps liquefy the food to push it through your stomach or to push it through your uh, digestion. Okay, Your liver produces bile to help break down the inorganic chemicals that's in your food. So the bile, the hydrochloric acid, all that stuff's working together. When you have too much of anything, you begin to have health problems. Like a lot of you that eat too much, you'll get acid reflux. That's a dangerous situation. If you got acid reflux, I'm telling you, it's very, very dangerous. And it that's a disease. Acid reflux can give you cancer. And I don't even know people even think they knew that. But it can. Okay, when you have, you know, too much bile, your body, your liver is overworking. And so too much bile in the system becomes, it becomes a toxic environment. It's very toxic. So your body can't function. And so when your body is, is totally acidic, then disease begins to come in. Actually, when you overeat, you're opening your body up to catch a disease. And I don't even think people even know that. But your body is susceptible to a disease after you overeat. You can't. You shouldn't overeat. People, regard your body. I'm not saying go and eat all, all the fruits out of the garden. But what I'm saying is, if you're going to choose to eat a lot of the, the stuff that you have around your table, people, do it in moderation. Do it in moderation, and I guarantee you, you will feel you'll feel a lot better and on top of that you won't gain those holiday pounds that people tend to put on i lose weight during the holidays i don't i don't eat a bunch of stuff in the holidays man i'm not cooking all that stuff and i'm not doing all that because i know for a fact that i have to regard my body i have to in this stage if i want to keep training and doing stuff i i have to regard my own body i got to and a lot of you don't regard your bodies and people you wonder why some of y'all get sick. You, you, you know, you wonder why y'all get in the flu. You know, you wonder why y'all in the hospital. And some of y'all done had a full-blown heart attack. I'm telling y'all, on this day, November 25th, 2015, I'm telling y'all, 10 years ago, the same time 10 years ago, I was laid up in the hospital. I was laid up and I was sitting here wondering, how the hell did I get, in, get myself into this situation? I'm, I'm telling y'all. And people, it's because I spent lots of time overeating. I spent a lot of time overeating. I mean, people, you know, you never, people that hadn't seen me in years, they think, they ask me, dude, you haven't even aged. Or people who see me for the first time, they think I'm in my, they think I'm in my low 30s, man. The people say, how are you, 31? You know, how are you, 33? You know, and it's just crazy. Like, no, I'm not, I'm going to be 40 soon. I'm going to be 40 real soon. But people still asking me, you know, am I in my young 30s? The answer is no. I just eat the part. I eat the part to look the part. And you guys, you got to regard your body. You got to regard your body when it comes to this because if not, over time, y'all, and we got a lot of us in this range, y'all, in this 30, 40-year-old range, your body begins to break down. You start having joint pains. You start having just crazy stuff happening to you that you can't explain why. You just think it's because it's old age. It's because y'all are overeating, guys. Guys, enjoy the holiday season, but regard your body. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.